Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. This is the uh, Works Landroid S WR130E and it's a lawnmower robot. It's gonna kill me any second. No, it's going a different direction. And I thought I'd make a different video about that because I think it's interesting. So what's so special about this lawnmower? It has a 0.04 kilowatt hour battery. I think top speed is three kilometers an hour, not very fast. And the range is also not <laughs> a lot. Um, what it does, it, it charges with this charging station, goes around um, and cuts the grass. And when it's at under 10%, it goes back and charges again. And charging takes a long time, four hours. And it cuts the grass around 70 minutes, around that. But it's okay, you can just leave it. It's cutting the grass, going back, charging, cutting again. So it's just going on and on and it works really well. What do you have to do? I thought this robot would be amazingly intelligent, but it's not. It's practically amazingly stupid. The only thing it has when it bumps into something, it, ah, I can't go there. And then it goes in reverse and tries again and, and stuff like this. And it, it turns the wheels in a different way to turn around, so that's good. Um, but other than that, it's pretty stupid. And it doesn't mow in a circle or something. It just goes in one direction, turns around in a different direction and just goes and goes and goes. And at some point it will cut everything. And what you have to do to uh, make it happen, you have to install a wire all around your area. So this brown wire goes out of the charging station and then uh, according to the manual every 80 centimeters you put in a hook where uh, it stays then on the ground and then the mower doesn't cut it. <laughs> Happened a few times. But when you have uneven uh, grass uh, or, or ground like I have, you need way more. I used on two fields um, over 200. <laughs> Just saying that. With the lawnmower you also get an app and that is really nice. It shows you the state of charge, it shows you what it's doing right now. You can tell it to start mowing, you can tell it to start, uh, get back to the charging station. All of this you can, uh, even it can uh, mow in the rain, but you can set it that it doesn't do that and how long it should wait after it stops raining. You can leave it out all the time, it's fine. And let's make it start. Do we even have internet? <laughs> Yes, I have. Press start, goes back, and starts mowing. It beeps, it's a warning, and then it goes. You can also do more stuff here with your grass, and it's whatever, but I don't care about that. <laughs> I have two fields that I wanted to cut the grass, and it does it really well. You can also adjust the height, so it's from 2 to 5 centimeters, and I notice that 2 centimeters my ground is too uneven, it doesn't work, but 3 centimeters is fine. And it just cuts the grass on, on one field for a few days, 2-3 days, and then it's fine. I even didn't mow the lawn before I, I got the thing. There was no, you, Normally you should do that so it keeps it short, but doesn't have to cut it itself. But it, worked really well. And important, of course, this is not collecting the grass, so it just cuts it and leaves it where it is. But I don't see it laying around too much, so it works really well. So the wire is there, so it knows where the limit is, how far it can go. It will now go here to this direction. There's the wire, stop, go in a different direction and go on. And it can climb hills up to, I think, 14 or 15 percent, something like this. No, degrees. I think it was 30 uh, percent. But when it's wet, when you start very early in the morning, it has a bit of a problem. On my second field here, the, the mower has more problems because I have weird little things, steps in there, here and there, and then this thing that it has to go around. And, and even though the wire is as far away as the manual said, 26 centimeters, sometimes it comes here and then falls over here happened a few times or it gets stuck and, and I think it's mostly because the grass is still wet and then it, it couldn't stop <laughs> and it fell down. Of course you don't have to put the wire on top 
of the grass like I did, you can also cut something in here and put the wire underneath, then it's way easier. But I did it so I can change stuff if it doesn't work very well and it was just easier and I didn't have to get a tool. When, what a big help this thing has been. I really enjoyed it because uh, lawn mowing for me was always a hassle working full time, then YouTube and then either after work or on Saturday uh, an hour of lawn mowing and then there's a lot of grass that it collects and then in the bin, uh, the biode biodegradable bin we have that's being picked up every two weeks. It was just so much, it was a lot of work and I'm also allergic to grass. <laughs> it's also great and this helps a lot. I enjoy it a lot. The only thing when you have two fields <coughs> you can either get two charging stations because if it doesn't connect to the charging station it doesn't work so the wire has to be connected to that and you need power of course. Um, so I have to disconnect it from here and put it on a different field but it's now done in five minutes or so. I, I'm enjoying it a lot. It works good. On this field it has its problem, here it's just perfect and I will get it again even though it was over 500 euros. A lot of money but so far I'm very glad and happy about it. Look at it coming. <laughs> but that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye!